The world is using technology more creatively than ever, and as it does, tech is being integrated into every facet of our daily lives. The digitization of government and community services is now widespread. For example, smart cities that use technology to foster a better relationship between government and citizens has truly arrived. By utilizing data, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence, big cities have transformed into smart cities around the globe. When we're connected through the internet and smartphones, urban managers can more easily decipher our needs, better allocate public resources, and make decisions that improve quality of life. Hangzhou, a mega city in China's Zhejiang province, has had a digitized city management system for five years. When it was first implemented, it focused on dealing with traffic jams. Now the digitized system is integrated across the board. The online program has expanded to include police, transport, tourism, health, and other major operations. Traffic congestion is one of the biggest headaches of modern urban life, and Hangzhou is no stranger to this. In 2013, it ranked third in China's traffic congestion index, but has since dropped to 35th place. So, how did one city improve 32 places? Well, Hangzhou is handling traffic and parking as a joint problem. Its city brain project, run through the Alibaba Cloud, manages real-time traffic for 1,300 traffic lights. It increased traffic flow by 15% in its first year, and increased ambulance arrival speeds by nearly 50%, indicating clearer roads and less congestion. With the COVID-19 outbreak, smart city tech is also giving new hope and new ideas for how cities can run efficiently and safely. Hangzhou's capacity to use tech to prepare for an outbreak and track the speed of disease is invaluable. Since COVID-19, Hangzhou has used health ID barcodes and cloud services to track, control, and prevent the spread of viruses. These barcodes, launched in mid-February, are scanned as users move around the city and categorize them into green, yellow, and red. A green barcode indicates its holder is healthy, while those with red and yellow need to be isolated. They can only travel or return to work when their barcode is upgraded to green. As the world moves to increased digital integration, undoubtedly there are complex questions about privacy and security that go hand in hand with the services that would alleviate major issues and improve lives. These are tough questions that cities and countries around the world will have to tackle to find their own preferred balance. But tech-powered governance, as carried out through innovative management technologies like in Hangzhou, can be a major enhancement of governance itself. By personalizing city management and allowing it to cater directly to the people, greater synergy between a city's residents and its government can be found. And it can benefit people and societies everywhere. I'm James Chow, and thank you for watching the China Current. Hi, I'm James Chow. You're watching the China Current. Follow us on social media at the China Current.